this video I'm going to be showing you some settings that we typically use most of the time on the Leo and uh, some of the HD mode settings and kind of the purpose of them and when to use what. Now, the software version that we're on right now is a 1.6.2 for the Leo and if you go into your scanner settings uh, typically when I uh, pick up the Leo, the first thing I do is restore the default settings because I don't know what settings have been changed previously. So when you restore to default, um, it'll automatically um, turn off Record HD data. So I will typically turn that back on. And so the HD data uh, you'll see there's lots of uh, different settings. This is the frame frequency that you're choosing for the Leo to capture. So you can you can go only HD frames, which will which will capture a one to one uh, frame frequency compared to the uh, standard definition frames. So and obviously if you click only. SD frames, you're not going to capture any HD data. Uh, the def default for uh, the Leo is 1.8. This setting is uh, good for most, most things. So in a case where you would want to use only HD frames is when you are scanning something that has lots of tight areas or um, something that is uh, very small for example, so you want to have the maximum amount of resolution. And another thing too is you can you can adjust your frame frequency in Artex Studio when you import them in. So this is applicable to Artex Studio 16 and newer versions. Uh, what this does is it allows you to transfer HD data or HD scans to an SD card. Um, a lot of times if you're out in the field, this is a very uh, quick way to transfer the data from the Leo to the laptop. Um, otherwise, you can, do, you can do the HD transfer um, through the hotspot on the Leo. What this uh, setting does is it'll just increase the amount of texture frames uh, that the Leo will, will capture. M most of the time, if you're not worried about the texture, uh, just keep it to zero. That's it'll it'll capture a certain amount. Um, for example, uh, I don't know the exact amount, but just for an example, one in every 15 frames will be a uh, texture frame. So, and then what you can do is crank that all the way up to 15 uh, frames per second, meaning that's how many extra texture frames that you will capture. For the most part, almost every frame will. Uh, Close to almost every frame will have uh, a texture uh, to it. So, uh, in when you would want to use that is if you only if you want to capture the texture of something, and basically if you want to apply the texture uh, to your mesh after, and you want to have the best um, result for the texture mapping, that's when you would want to increase the supplementary textures. Uh, for most things, if you're not worried about the texture, then you don't have to worry about that. Uh, but if you're scanning some kind of art piece and you just you want to have the best texture um, mapping on your mesh, then you want to go ahead and you can max it out. You can do whatever setting you want. Um, okay, the next setting is the uh, maximum scanning speed. So for the Leo, the default is 60 frames per second. That's what I stick to. Um, it seems to be very good. You can also crank it all the way up to 80 or you can turn it down if you like to scan really slow. But for the most part, the, the default setting is good. One quick little tip here. Uh, if you click and hold on any of these uh, settings that have a value, on any of these settings that have a number value, you can click and hold, 
click and hold and it'll bring up the, the number pad. So you can, you can uh, delete, we can add, let's say 10, for example, and it'll set it. Otherwise, you can just use a slider, but if you want a specific amount and you can't uh, kind of get there, you can just click and hold. You'll come up with a number pad and you can put your setting in there. For this raw scan, I have a frame frequency on the Leo set to one to one. You can see that by uh, you can see the frames actually match the amount of frames in the raw data uh, match the amount of frames in the standard data. So that tells me that I scanned it at a one-to-one. -one. Now, when you come into the frame frequency settings in the HD reconstruction tab under tools, you can see you can, you can change the amount the frame frequency so you can reduce it. Um, down to 1 8 which is the default setting for Leo and then you can change the HD data density which what the HD data density does is it adds points to your scan data so if you go one times it will have the same amount of points or similar amount of points to the standard definition um, scans so meaning it'll have a similar amount of triangles so if you change that, let's say for example, 16 times, you'll have about 16 times the amount of uh, points added to the scan. So when you would want to increase this uh, HD data density is when you're trying to get the highest resolution possible. If you're scanning small objects, this is where you would want to uh, increase the, the data density and so that you are able to do a fusion at a higher resolution or a lower number. So on the right here, I actually have uh, a bunch that were already processed. So I have HD scans uh, with a frame frequency of one. So it's one to one. Uh, I just put the HD data density one to one times. And you can see the time it took was 259 seconds. And my frames, uh, the amount of frames match the raw scan frames, which also match standard frame, scan frames. So if I reduce that, the frame fre frequency down to one half, uh, you can see that it, it almost cut it in half. It's not gonna be an exact number because it still keeps core frames. So it'll reduce, it'll reduce the number of uh, frames that you're going to process. So and you can see the time it takes to process is, is quite a bit less. So that being said, the, the data density doesn't affect the time. Um, it'll affect it very, very little compared to the frame frequency. So here's the default of 1 8 frame frequency, uh, HD data density one times, it took 63 seconds. Uh, so we have a total of 158 frames, 5.6 million triangles, or polygons, sorry. So if you look at the um, frame frequency of 1, it took 259 seconds. So it took quite a bit longer to process. Um, and of course, because it has more frames, it has a lot more polygons. So uh, one more example here is I have a... Frame frequency of 1 8th, HD data density of 16 times, uh, that took 68 seconds. And you can see the polygon count compared to the HD data density of 1, it's 95 million compared to 5.6. So quite a bit higher. Uh, with this many points, it'll take a lot longer to process as well. So. I would only recommend increasing that if you're looking to get nice high resolution um, on smaller, smaller features.